After traveling in Latin America for five months, we have now reached our last country of our trip, which is no other than Mexico. We'll be spending one month exploring the beauty of this country, visiting several different destinations. And I now welcome you to join the journey exploring Mexico together. In this travel vlog, you'll get to join me to the charming colonial town of San Cristobal de las Casas. It's known for its cobblestone streets and colorful houses. San Cristobal offers a rich blend of history and tradition with a laid-back atmosphere, making it a popular destination for travelers. Hello everyone, my name is Yannicka and welcome to this video. Currently, we are on our way to a restaurant to have some tacos for dinner. Spicy. Now the plan is to walk around a bit, maybe visit some fun shops that we see. There's a market that we want to visit and then a little bit later we are going on a free walking tour. I need to go to when I'm back in Finland. So I need to find a dress that I can wear. These are now the first two dresses I'm trying on. This dress is cute, but I'm not sure if it's giving a bit too much like housewife slash little house in the prairies vibes. <laughs> Maybe. In the next shop and trying on the next two dresses. This is the most unflattering dress ever. <gasps> okay, it's a no for this one. now by Plaza La Paz and from here the free walking tour will start in a few minutes. I wanted to see the video. 
During our walking tour, we got to see interesting places in town as well as learn more about the history and culture of this place. San Cristobal de las Casas was founded in 1528 by the Spaniards. It served as a colonial center of the Spanish administrative and missionary activities. However, this region also has a rich history that is very much intertwined with the Mayan culture. And that is why San Cristobal's culture has a unique mix of colonial and indigenous influences. then ended our walking tour with getting a small introduction to the local traditional Mexican drink of posh. The word posh is written in, a, in one of the different languages we have here in this state. Its name is Sotzil and it means medicine. I'm saying it because in other languages this means another thing. So that's why the reason it's a medicinal drink but also it's a festive one and today my intention is you to get the best quality posh we have in Mexico. To smell it and also from to slurp it just a little like this. Second sip longer than the first one <laughs> and then and we're gonna say colabal it means thank you. This drink has a deep cultural and spiritual significance, especially for the indigenous Mayan communities in Chiapas. Posh is considered a sacred drink with health benefits and it is used for ceremonial rituals and celebrations. And please don't mind the fact that I'm not a very big drinker, so for me this drink felt quite strong. Good morning! Today is our last day here in San Cristobal, but we still have the whole day here ahead of us to explore. Luckily, we have a night bus leaving at 9 p.m. I wanted to talk to you guys about the accommodation that we're staying in because it's been a bit of a frustrating experience, to be honest. We arrived to the hostel where we had booked a room and they tell us that they have decided to paint our room, even though they knew we were coming. Then they told us that we can stay in another room, in another hostel that they own. And we come to this new hostel that we hadn't booked. And like, we actually have a nice room, there's a kitchen, there's a roof terrace, so like the facilities are good. But this place is so poorly managed. First of all, there's like one guy who's like managing both of these hostels. And every time we try to find him, it's a whole mission. Like we have to run to the other hostel where we originally booked. And then there, there's always some woman who's opening a door and then she has to call him. And then we have to wait for a super long time for him to arrive. And like, I don't know, I don't understand why he just hasn't given his number to us so that we could directly contact him or something because he's never around. We've had some issues while we've been here. First of all, we've been having issues with the water so not once but twice have we been out of water completely so the toilets don't work the taps don't work the showers don't work especially the toilets not working has been an interesting and nasty experience basically we haven't been able to flush Ugh. brother Ugh. what's that what's that brother 
And I get it, like things like this can happen, but it's more the fact that it then takes such a long time to fix the issue. Another thing, there is a kitchen here and we bought a huge pack of eggs that we were planning on eating here. But the morning that we try to actually cook them, we realize that the gas stove is out of gas. So again, we have to go on this whole mission on trying to find the guy who is managing this place. He comes and he's like, oh yeah, it'll be fixed in an hour. Newsflash, it was not fixed in an hour, not until now, right before we're about to check out in a few hours, did they come and fix it. Also now when the gas people did come here to fill in the tanks, guess if he was around? No, and like, you know, the gas tanks are somewhere locked up. So again, we had to go and find him so that he could fix it with the guys that he had. Or I don't know, it's like, ugh. I'm not gonna say the name of this place because I don't necessarily recommend it. Maybe if we would have stayed at the place where we were originally supposed to stay at, things would have been easier. It just feels like this place where we are feels a bit, I don't know, abandoned. There's like no one else here. It was cheap though. For three nights, we paid 700 pesos, which is not much at all. But to be honest, when we were looking for a hostel here, there were so many accommodations that were really, really cheap and like private rooms and everything here in San Cristobal. But yeah, I'm gonna go now and eat a million eggs. So, see you a bit later. So something you have to be careful with when in San Cristobal is the water quality here. The water quality here is really, really bad. We've been told it's basically toxic and even the locals get sick from it. They get things like salmonella and problems with their stomach and stuff. So even when like brushing your teeth, it's important to use bottled water and not the tap water because if you do, you might get really sick. What we were told on the tour yesterday though is that you don't don't need to really be worried in most restaurants in the center even if there's like vegetables and stuff because the restaurants here wash the vegetables with purified water but if you order tacos at some food market or go outside of the city center then you should avoid eating any vegetables or anything that could have been washed with regular water so that's something to keep in mind when in San Cristobal First stops of today are these two different spots that got recommended to us by the guide at the walking tour. The first one is this art museum. Although unfortunately when we visited they only had a few exhibits going on, but the building itself however is really beautiful. We also popped in at this local cultural center where apparently there's often quite a lot of fun things going on. However, today we were being a little bit unlucky, I guess, and there wasn't much happening here. So it ended up being quite a short visit. Although next to the cultural center, we did come across this little market. I 
Italy, San Cristobal is famous for its local chocolate, so we decided to try some. Apparently they said it should be local or from somewhere nearby at least, so trying this walnut chocolate. Unfortunately, it seems like it's quite melted. <laughs> That's actually one of the worst chocolates I've ever had. Usually I like all chocolate. This tastes weird, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sorry, gross fitting name, but you were not very tasty. I can't accept the fact that the chocolate here tastes that bad, so I have to give it another go. So let's hope this one's better. This one was cheaper as well, so let's give it a try. I think this is just a regular milk chocolate bar. Mm. Okay, this one's much, much better. There's something inside. I don't know, it reminds me a bit of maybe a Malteser or something. This one's good, I recommend. We found a fry shop that seems to sell some Dutch things. They have ka souffle, and what was it you said they also have? Croquettes. Oh yeah, they have a stroke waffle sandwich ice cream. Okay, please don't judge me, but... I went for the ka souffle! <laughs> I must do some research on how a Dutch ka souffle tastes like in the south of Mexico. And to be fair, today when I'm filming this video, it is actually King's Day back in the Netherlands, so... I feel like this is fitting. I'm not Dutch though, but <laughs> I still feel like it is fitting. So let's try. I like it, but I find it a bit sweet, like the stuff around. I don't know, it's weird. Pretty good though. And I find it very funny as well. We've now come to the church that's for Our Lady Guadalupe. And apparently it's seen as the most important religious figure here in Mexico. So they've given her the best church here in San Cristobal. So of course we had to come and check it out. In order to get to the church though, we have to climb some stairs first. But it's not as many stairs as it was yesterday to the, I think it's called San Cristobalito church. But um, yeah, let's go and check it out. We're counting how many steps it is to get on top. Okay, so it is 70 steps to get to the top, so not too bad. The other one had like 200 plus steps, so that one's definitely more tiring. It looks very different from a normal church in Europe, at least. to take a small break from all the Mexican food that we've had and um, that we're gonna have still on our trip and we came to a Japanese restaurant that had really good reviews and I ordered some ramen and I'm super excited time has come for us to take the bus to our next destination so I'm gonna end this video here I hope you have enjoyed it if you did remember to give it a thumbs up and remember also to subscribe to my channel to join the journey thank you for watching and see you again on my next adventure bye, -bye.